morning everyone good morning everyone good morning everyone are you ready for some fun stand up and turn around stand up and turn around stand up and turn around now sit down on the ground give me a great big clap give me a great big clap give me a great big clap now put your hands in your lap. Good morning, boys and girls. This is Miss Nicole here, and I'm very excited to read one of my absolute favorite books to you today, The Paper Bag Princess by Robert Munchkin. Now, there's a reason I'm reading this book to you today. A wonderful friend of mine from high school made a beautiful graphic design for Peaceful Beginnings and all the read-alouds that I do. So this book is dedicated to Pete Collins and the Collins family. Thank you so much for the beautiful, beautiful graphic design. And I felt that this book was the perfect book to share with you. The Paperback Princess. Elizabeth was a beautiful princess. She lived in a castle and had expensive princess clothes. She was going to marry a prince named... Ronald. I don't know if I'd want to marry him. He doesn't look very nice and friendly. <laughs> Unfortunately, a dragon smashed her castle, burned all her clothes with his fiery breath, and carried off Prince Ronald. Oh my goodness. What is she going to do? Elizabeth decided to chase the dragon and get Ronald back. She looked everywhere for something to wear, but the only thing she could find that was not burnt, that's right, is a paper bag. So she put on the paper bag and followed the dragon. I mean, who wouldn't? He was easy to follow because he had left a trail of burnt forest and horse bones along the way. Ooh, she looks determined. She's like, I'm not going to let this dragon take my future husband. I'm going to save him. Finally, Elizabeth came to a cave with a large door that had a huge knocker on it. She took hold of the knocker and banged on that door. The dragon stuck his nose out and said, <laughs> Well, a princess. I love to eat princesses. But I've already eaten a whole castle today. I am a very busy dragon. You come back tomorrow. And he slammed the door so fast that Elizabeth almost got her nose caught in it. Ugh. What is she going to do? Hmm. Well, Elizabeth grabbed the knocker and banged on that door again. The dragon stuck his nose out of the door and said, Go away. I love to eat princesses, but I've already eaten a whole castle today. I am a very busy dragon. Come back tomorrow. Wait, shouted Elizabeth. Is, is it true that you are the smartest and fiercest dragon in the whole world? <laughs> Why? Why, yes, said the dragon. Is it true, said Elizabeth, that you can burn up ten forests with your fiery breath? Oh, yes, said the dragon. And he took a huge deep breath and breathed out so much fire that he burnt up fifty forests. Fantastic, said Elizabeth. And the dragon took another huge breath and breathed out so much fire that he burnt up one hundred forests. Magnificent said Elizabeth. The dragon took another huge breath, <gasps> but this time nothing came out. The dragon didn't even have enough fire left to cook a meatball. Oh my goodness. Oof. Elizabeth said, dragon, is it true you can fly around the world in just 10 seconds? <laughs> Why, yes, said the dragon, and jumped up and flew all the way around the world in just 10 seconds. He was very tired when he got back, but Elizabeth shouted, fantastic, do it again. 
So the dragon jumped up and flew around the whole world in just 20 seconds. When he got back, he was too tired to talk and he lay down and went straight to sleep. Ooh, he looks tired. Oh, look, there's the door and there's the prince. This was her plan the whole time. She's very smart. Elizabeth whispered softly, hey, dragon. The dragon didn't move. She lifted up the dragon's ear and put her head right inside it and shouted as loud as she could, hey, dragon. The dragon was so tired, he didn't even move. Elizabeth rocked right over to the door and opened the door to the cave. There was Prince Ronald. Oh, he looked at Elizabeth and said, Elizabeth, you're a mess. You smell like ash and your hair is all tangled and you're wearing dirty old paper bag. Come back when you're dressed like a real princess. What? She just went through so much effort to save him. And she, he's saying she doesn't look like a real princess? Ronald, said Elizabeth, your clothes are really pretty and your hair is very neat. <laughs> you look like a real prince, but you're a bum. They didn't get married after all. There she is, running into the distance by herself because the prince didn't know what was truly important, which is to be brave and do whatever you need to for those you love. <laughs> All right, boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed the story. I love the story and I love all of you. So have a beautiful day. Bye.